just uh got to my assistant casey's house we were supposed to go ride today but it rained a lot last night it's hot as balls right now though man it's freaking it's ridiculous hot probably like i don't know 69 degrees celsius i'd say uh but it's um yeah we got we came over here because man i have some other projects got to switch switch mode now we're not gonna ride today and i've been working on getting this uh here screaming eagle built for a while um, luckily my assistant, her husband is a good friend of mine and he owns a uh, top shop moto, a little, little bike maintenance, um, you know, bike shop, help a little mechanic shop to help guys get their stuff up and running. So he's, uh, he always works on the Screaming Eagle stuff too. He helped me build the 509 and all that stuff. So, uh, we're gonna come over here. He told me he was going to help me get that original Screaming Eagle together. I get Casey to film though, cause got to film this, uh, this project as well. See y'all. I'm here. Come on in. Come on out here. I got a job for you. Hi. How you doing, sweetheart? Here, you got a film. Okay. I'm doing a YouTube video, so uh, just I don't know, film it. I'll edit it later. Come on. Okay. Is Nick in the garage? Yes. All right, good. Woo! <laughs> it feels good just pushing it. Feels right. What up, Nick? What's up, Ronnie? Yeah! What are you doing, dude? What are you doing? Good to see you. We got the original Screamer back. Oh! Give the people what they fucking <laughs> want, right? <laughs> what happened to it? Oh, well, here's the deal. It was out of the track, and I had a little shop space out there, and uh, I don't know. I guess my stuff's popular. People want to check it out. So I, I accidentally left the lock undone on my shop, and been in there for about six or nine months, but it had everything in it. But, I mean, when I got in there, they, people had parted it out, man. They're taking stuff, maybe selling on eBay. I don't know. Oh, yeah. You, know, you have any fucking parts? I did a parts list. It's missing about, I'd say about 69 parts that we're gonna need to order on it, um, <laughs> give or take. But I've got the engine out there as well, so we still got an engine to put in it. Okay. But um, but yeah, this is my buddy Nick. You know that, it's your husband. <laughs> but um, he worked. He has a little company called Top Shop Moto. Works on all these bikes in here. You know, Nick and I have been friends for a long time. He's actually who got me hooked up with Casey. And um, you know, my problem was before. I had a lot of assistants that were okay, but I'd start banging them and they'd get all crazy and it was all a thing. So I figured if I was, if I had my, my friend's wife as an assistant, I wouldn't bang them. So no matter how much Casey comes on to me now and flirts with me and grabs my junk and stuff like that, I just won't do it because that's the man I am. Uh-huh. You know, so... Um, <laughs> She's over back there smirking and weeping at me. <laughs> Casey, get get back to work. All right, so uh, yeah, I think this well, was a. Well, you grab the motor on, and we'll see what we got. So, all right. Uh, how, I mean, how how many how how, how long do you think we got on this? When, thing? when, when do you need, what do you need it? What do you need it for? I need it in about six or nine days, if that's possible. Oh. Yeah, I mean, we can. I'll push all that shit aside and start on this one today, I guess. I mean, this is probably the most popular motorcycle on the planet. So I'd say push all those other pieces of shit aside, especially the four strokes. Yeah. You got a good little arsenal of two strokes in here, though. But yeah, let me grab the engine. I'll be back. You know, my memory ain't too great. I mean, head injuries and other things, but I believe this is a new rod. It don't look all spewed up. Yep. Looks good. Looks good. All right. All right. We'll get to work. Hell yeah. I'm so damn happy to be getting this bike back. And don't think that I hadn't seen in the comments on every single video, every single picture when I was riding the ass ass, where's the original Screaming Eagle? Trust me, it hurts my heart too. That's why we got this thing here. 
You know, this is the original Screaming Eagle. This is the original one. This is the one that Jeremy McGrath threw away, said it couldn't ride, unrivaled, and Ronnie Mack took the spike and we made it fucking famous. And we're gonna bring bringing it back with the help of Nick, Top Shot Moto, everyone, we're gonna get the Screaming Eagle back. Screaming or dreaming, baby. We're gonna be heading down to, to Norman, to OMC, Oklahoma Motorsports Complex, do a little bit of moto and but yeah, first I gotta stop by and grab some, uh, I think my blinker's on. I gotta stop by and grab some uh, premix from Ajax Cycles, man. Good folks in there. I uh, picked up the ass asses down there when I got them. Good people, they always hook me up with good stuff. So we'll uh, cruise in here in a minute. Here we are, folks. Ajax Motorsports. Picked up some two smoke oil. Let's go, I'm gonna leave it running, keep that AC going. Better put it in park. That way, it's not a billion degrees when I get back in here. It's hot. You like the fish flops too? What do you think about them? All right, let's cruise inside. What's up, guys? What's up, brother? How's it going? It's good to see you guys. You. Look at it. It's disappointing, all these electric bikes, you know? All these kids, you, you're teaching them the wrong manners right off the bat. You know, get them on these two strokers here. That's what the kids need. Blech. I don't know, man. They got the two stroke arsenals, though. Even the piece of crap cowies. Oh, there it is. That's a big old container. Well,. I guess I'm ready. What's up, folks? Just this. How's it going, sir? It's going good. So I got I got a sales strategy for all your electric bikes over there. Here we go. Convert them to gas. Are you, well, no. Here's a sales strategy for you. Right. So what I'm thinking is, we make a bunch of Rainbow Pride graphics kits. We sell them inside the store. We have handlebar streamers for them and everything. Out front, we run a big Pride flag, and then we put we put electric bikes sold here. I think we're like two months late, aren't we? Uh, That's a June thing. That's a June thing. Oh, dang. You're right. You're right. Hey, sometimes your uncle, he ain't too smart. All right, man. I appreciate it, guys. Yes, Till next time. Chip. All right. Thanks, brother. All right, brother. Hey, I've talked to your, uh, your parts guy up there about some strategy about getting rid of some of them. You know, electric bikes and clearing uh -huh. clearing room for getting some two strokes. Some, getting some two strokes. In yeah, there. but okay. you got plenty of them. But just more the better. This shit. Need about six or nine more. Six or nine more, brother. Good to see you, brother. Yeah, you we'll see you, man. We'll catch you later. All right, y'all. We're about to cross the bridge. We're gonna come up on Norman here. Ooh. Want to let y'all know that we get, we came back with our old beer goggle design. Um, we had a lot of our customers saying oh man where'd the beer goggles go so we brought them back we also have a brand new usa goggles they're the brand new like uh fixed lens like the oakley stuff they're badass man um so yeah go check it out ronnie max 69.com ah! there it is oklahoma motorsports park man it's so cool it's right here in the city the track looks ripping for tonight i was uh Talk with Robbie Raynard though. He's bringing all his kids out here. They're gonna ride the sand track for a little while before. Um, the owner, Rodney, big sexy, he's the man. He just, he got that all prepped up for us to ride. So we're gonna do a little sand track action before night practice starts. The thing about it here at Oklahoma Motorsports Park, um, Rodney, the owner, me and him go way back, AKA big sexy. Dude lets me ride in here for free. Basically lets me use this place like it's its own. But man, whenever uh, whenever I can sneak paying to get in and ride, I always do. Because man, always support your local tracks. Everyone out there. Howdy, how's it going? Okay, so I got me and then the two pretty ladies in that car back there. Okay, well, I'm not supposed to charge you, so. But I want to pay anyways, how much is it? Because I want to support my local track. No, pr I promise, I won't tell Rob. So uh, let me let me pay, for, pay, pay to get in here. Today. All right, there we go. We got forty dollars right there. I truly appreciate it. You guys always have a nice prep track. It's hard to that's hard to find these days. You know, I laugh at your videos quite often. Oh, you do, huh? Me and my nephew, we sat there for like forty-five minutes scrolling through 
TikTok find of funny videos of you. Well, awesome. You keep watching, okay? I will. Thank you. All right. Yeah, time. thanks. That's business. That's good business right there. Well, hot damn, them boys are already out there. They're already ripping it up, so uh, we're a little bit late. But Nick and Casey are here. My assistant, Casey, their son's out here ripping it up, so uh, I'm going to ask her to film. And here's Casey drinking a beer, doing nothing. Hey, I need you to do about six or nine minutes of filming for me. You got that? I mean, I'm pretty happy just hanging out right here. I'll tell you what, drinking beer is my job, so why don't you film for a little bit, all right? All right. Yeah, there you go. You get on video mode? We're ready. It's all going right. right now. You turn the fucking camera on, Casey. It's on. All right. <laughs> up out there good job Casey <laughs> thanks nothing quenches your uncle's thirst like a nice cold PBR after a nice long 69 minute motor see y'all next time <laughs>